Christian Music Spotlight is on the air with another new episode from Creation. Coming up next, popular Northwest indie band This Fast Ocean joins us. Plus, Creation Northwest 2014 Music Tournament winner Awako Sleeper joins the program to talk about their year that they've had since that tournament win. Plus, good friends and family Redeem the Exile join the program to tell us what their year has been like and what 2016 lies in store for the Exiles. It's all coming up next. Christian Music Spotlight starts right now. Hey guys, hey, we're, we're Bread of Stone, and hey. you're watching Christian Music Spotlight. Come on, let's do it. You hey said guys. that house. Hey, hey guys, or hey. Hey, hey we're, we're Bread of Stone, Stone, and you're watching Christian Music Spotlight. Christian Music Spotlight taping our entire season here from Creation Fest 2015 here in Kennewick, Washington. Right now we're being joined by our neighbors to the north up in British Columbia, Canada. They were the winners of the 2014 music tournament here at Creation Northwest. Please welcome Awake O Sleeper, guys. How are you? Doing great, man. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, no problem. Now, what was your experience like with uh, winning 2014 music tournament and... How new heights has that taken you guys since then? Cool. Yeah, I mean, it was a blast to come down here. We had uh, we never played in the U.S. before until last year, and uh, Christian, our drummer, signed us up, and, and we all kind of uh, laughed at him honestly, like we won't get into that. We won't. And, and anyway, yeah, came down, played, met some amazing people, um, and it obviously it went really well. So it, it was a blast. I don't know. Was uh, that main stage performance one of your larger audience performances, would you say, to date? It was, it was definitely up there, for sure. But no, that was a cool experience, because um, it all kind of happened in a whirlwind where we, we got told, okay, you guys have won for this year, and then we played within like an hour or two, and um, that was pretty awesome. And, and that night, actually, uh, Need to Breathe was playing last, and that's a band that we all really like and enjoy. So it's kind of cool to be in that environment, and kind of a once-in-a-lifetime same thing. That was just a fun night. I, I about there. pooped my pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did you guys get started as a band? You've been you guys been doing this for a while, or Andrew? Yeah, speak to that. Yeah, so we all kind of met in church up in um, in Chilliwack, where we're from, and we kind of all played together um, at different capacities and stuff. Brad and I started when we were really young. Like I think I was twelve years old, so it was over ten years ago. And um, Brad was a little old. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we all, yeah, we all played together and at different points and stuff in church and doing stuff like that. And then about three years ago, we got together and decided to start this project. I was actually working on something with Dan, and Brad kind of scooped me up for a different project at his wedding. Moment. At my wedding, yeah. Right. But, but then I came along for the ride, too. So. More later on, so it was good, yeah. But, um, and then, yeah, that was three years ago, and then we've been doing this kind of ever since. Now, being winners last year, were you guys invited back this year how did that all happen yeah i think that was just part of the part of the get up if you win you get to come back and play and um so we we did um the ichthus fest in, in kentucky and then sunshine in wisconsin and then, and then back here and uh this place this one kind of feels more like home you know um seeing some of the same faces and, and people who actually saw us last year coming and chatting with us so uh yeah it's been pretty awesome for those who are just tuning in, finding it for the first time, if we can go down the line and introduce yourselves and what role you play in the band. Uh, I'm Drew, and I play uh, electric guitar, lead slash rhythm. Andrew and I share that role. So. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Andrew, and I do what you does. We both do a little bit of vocals too, but mainly yeah. lead and rhythm guitar. Cool. I'm Brad. Um, I sing and play a little bit of acoustic guitar. I'm Dan. I play the bass and do a lot of the backing vocals as well. So. And I'm Christian, and I'm the drummer. What does the future hold? We've already established, you know, you guys won the tournament last year. You're back again this year. You're doing a lot of festival touring with Creation this summer. What does the future look like and hold for Awake with Sleeper? Man, that's a, that's a great question. I think at this point we're, we're pumped to find out. We're, um, we're excited to play. We, we hope to be doing a bunch more of this type of thing. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just kind of hands open and, and just seeing where it takes us, you know? Yeah. For those who are tuning in, finding it for the first time, how would you describe your musical stylings for those? Um, yeah, it, it's rock music. We do like, we kind of all have a bunch of different influences. 
So um, there's some blues stuff going on, there's some country stuff going on, there's some classic rock stuff going on, kind of all over the place. Um, but really, it's just it's rock music, loud guitars, you know. Yeah. Awake with Sleepers joining us here on Christian Music Spotlight. Tune in to youtube.com slash Christ Music Spotlight as well as our great television affiliates who carry us each and every week. Now it's time. We have a little bit of time in this segment for a segment we'd like to call Fun Fast Facts, a chance where we get to find out a little bit of rapid fire questions with your favorite artists. You can answer this individually, collectively. If we were to peer into your CD player iPod right now, what songs might we find you listening to on it right now? Uh, I, I've been rocking a band called Silent Planet a whole bunch. They're a metal band. They're awesome, man. Just loving it. Tedeschi Trust Band. Um, honestly, on the drive down, kind of a combination of Need to Breathe and Drew Holcomb. So I've oh, been, been yeah. listening to both of those. I've been on a big Led Zeppelin phase for the last couple uh, of weeks. Uh, so. uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, I'm a big Andrew Bell fan. All right, since you guys are neighbors to the north, we air a lot in the northwest here. If somebody were to go to BC, what's the favorite BC hangout they must go and see while they're up there? Drew, you probably should speak to that. Oh, I don't know. Um, I, have no, I have no idea. Uh, you got to climb the mountains, man. There is yeah. Pick a mountain and climb it, yeah. Um, if you're on the July, do sham. Beautiful views. Like, just sleep in the mountains. <laughs> Awake Goes Sleepers joining us here in Christian Music Spotlight for those who want to follow, catch up with you and learn more about you what different social media website avenues might we go to find you well you can start with awakosleepermusic.com and out of that we got links to all of our social media so we're on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram primarily but yeah awakosleepermusic.com that's also a place where you can see the albums that we got, stream them for free that sort of stuff so and keep up to date with where we are and what we're doing. Yeah. Well, it's been fabulous having you guys on the show, following your guys' success from the tournament win last year to being here again this year. Just following your guys' uh, career path has been absolutely amazing. May you continue to have success, winning hearts and souls for Christ, and best of luck in everything you do. Awesome. Thanks very much. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Ben. Awake with Sleeper, Music Tournament 2014 winner here at Creation Festivals. They are back again this year. Uh, catch them and go visit their website, awakewithsleepermusic.com, for more. We'll be back with more here from Creation 2015 in Kennewick after this. Find out more about Christian Music Spotlight by following us online on Facebook and visiting our website at youtube.com slash Spotlight. your home for Christian Music Spotlight on the web. Watch us on television in the Northwest on TCTV, Sunday nights at 8.30 p.m., Tuesday mornings at 8.30 a.m., and Thursday afternoons at 2.30 p.m., three times a week to catch the stories and testimonies behind the songs of your favorite artists in Christian music. Watch us on television on TCTV Channel 22, your television home in the Northwest for Christian Music Spotlight. We are in exile. But we would not be here if it were for a dear personal friend, all of us, it was Isaac. Yeah. We love Isaac dearly. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit. And so we want you guys, please, with us pray for Isaac. He has a condition that is uncurable, but I know a great physician who is the creator of all things, and he has the gift of the power to heal. Holy Spirit, come.
Christian Music Spotlight here from Creation 2015 here at the Benton County Fairgrounds in Kennewick. And if you've watched our show at all, whether it be Rehoboth Ministries, whether it be Christian Music Spotlight, you're well aware of these guys by now. These guys have been like family to us over these last few years. Kevin, of course, you see him all the time on our main show as well. You've seen these guys perform in studio. We are pleased to welcome it. Wouldn't be Creation lately without them. Redeem the Exile. Guys, how you doing? Doing great. Thanks for having us. So what's this year's experience been like? You guys just went out on tour, um, a regional Northwest tour concluded here at Creation. What's this week been for you guys? Uh, this week's been amazing. It's It's been probably one of the best tours we've ever been on. Uh, going on tour with some great friends from this vast ocean. So really uh, excited to see what God's doing with that band. Uh, definitely a band to keep an eye out for. So, But uh, he's just provision, and he's been showing up in the small things like he does. So just really excited about things God's been doing this tour. And you guys, of course, are playing the uh, Fringe stage, the music tournament stage. Uh, tell us about your set uh, coming up here uh, this weekend. Well... <laughs> That we're that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, mostly all new songs this year. Um, songs we didn't play last year, so we're excited to play uh, this new set. And, um, so yeah. And that's great because uh, it's a good segue. You guys uh, came out with some new material this year. Tell us the process. You guys have been working on this, where a lot of these songs came from, and how thrilled you guys are to start sharing these with uh, your listeners. Uh, yeah, with each with each album that we've worked on, our our style has just changed. Um, we still, I mean, we still have the Redeem the Exile feel and the Redeem the Exile style, but um, it's just exciting to see the progression of our music. Um, Colton and I especially just putting our heads together to come up with stuff. And uh, it's interesting is our, our writing styles have been changing and like we're learning about how to work with each other in these writing styles. And um, it's, it's just been an interesting experience. It's been a fun experience. And I'm, I'm really proud of the work that we've put out. I'm I am more happy with this this work than I have anything else we've put out previously, and so I'm really excited to be hitting the studio, uh, hopefully later this year, and and be putting out a new album. How would you say stylistically this sound has kind of evolved from some of your works in the past? Is it just kind of a continuation of where the band is going? Do you bring some new elements to your sound? How has this one evolved from some of the past ones? Yeah, I think we just all of us are growing uh, in our musical maturity. Uh, I think some of our new stuff is more uh, outside the box, uh, less typical, and uh, uh, there's more, uh, more freedom in it, more just us having fun and doing what we do. You guys have the amazing uh, ability to perform in some of just amazing venues, both local and regional, and with a lot of different bands, this vast ocean, torn a few times. What's that experience like, just being able to just intermingle and tour with different bands and play to so many different venues night after night? Tell us a little bit about, a little bit about that. So this tour has been really interesting just to be with uh, this vast ocean just because um, now I'm not the youngest person on the road, so it's kind of gay. <laughs> so I have other people make fun of for that instead of me, and I don't take all the jokes. <laughs> uh, but they've just been super cool. Um, we uh, got to stay at their like at their houses in Monroe, Washington, and we got to meet their families, and their families are just being super supportive of them and us, and like they've got their whole church praying for us, and so the connections that we've made just as friendships and just as people to know, like has just been incredible. They've become, it's been less than a week that we've been on tour, or maybe about a week that we've been on tour, and we already feel like they're family. So that's been something that's been super cool about tour, is that our family just keeps growing and growing with every band that we tour with. Yeah. So Scott, what lies in the future for Redeem? Uh, obviously, we're talking a new studio album, potentially either later on this year, first part of next year. What's the future hold for Redeem? Yeah, so it does, we are looking to get in the studio. We're hoping to do uh, some pre-production maybe by the end of the year. Uh, we also have another tour set up that's going to be going on around February. Also looking at some more tours going on in March. Uh, looking to do a little bit further touring. This year we got um, an amazing uh, tour van. God's blessed us. And so we kind of felt like God was equipping us to go out and do the things he's called us to do. So we hope that this next year is going to look like that with a lot more touring, uh, get some more stuff out. And so, yeah, uh, just really kind of 
kind of what this last year has just been about of, of accumulating and just getting everything together. Um, we're hoping that that could kind of be revealed coming up this next year. In getting to know you guys a lot over this past few years, I can definitely attest to the genuine heart that you guys have, not only as individuals, but as collectively uh, as musicians. For people who are just finding your music and getting in touch with your music, beyond the music, when you're out there performing at these different venues, what message do you want to leave your listeners and your fans with every night when you're out there performing? What impact do you want them left with? Really, if anything, it's that God loves them. I, we, we don't care what kind of music they like. Uh, we don't care what <clears throat> lifestyle they choose to live. If, if they don't know that God loves them, then nothing else really matters. If they don't know Jesus, it doesn't matter. Uh, so our, our, our music can seem very aggressive and very angry, but it's, it's more just our passion to want to capture the audience to say, look, there is a God and he loves you and, and he doesn't care if you're choosing to live the life that you choose to live right now. There's more in this and, and it doesn't matter what you've done. He's here for you now. So if we can leave anyone with anything is that we want them to feel God's love at a show, not just know that Jesus loves them. Everyone knows that. Everyone hears it. It's on every bumper sticker you see. But what we want is people to feel God's love and know that. So that's the one thing if we could narrow it down would be that. I've always said for a while, too, you know, in the secular realm, you have different genres of music, and I'm glad to finally see in Christian music different genres and different variety being embraced, even on the countryside and pop and even different bands such as yourselves paving the way for Christian metal and really getting it out there. And just the versatility you guys have in performing so many different venues, um, anywhere from churches all the way to, you know, local nightclub scene you guys are on top of it all around so it's great to see you guys out there and really amongst the people really interacting and um, for those who want to connect up with you find out more about your music uh, find out where you're going next to your different social platforms that fans can connect up with you tell us a little bit about those yes yeah, so we do have all the major social media stuff um and so Facebook, I think, would probably be the one of the most common. So we'll be releasing some dates on our tours coming up with our locations and stuff like that. So definitely, if people are interested, come out to a live show. That would be an opportunity to do that. Um, but then also we have Instagram and Twitter and you know all the, all the rest of that. So. Yeah. And for those who are watching who have been in a cave, who have not seen these guys, I don't know how you've missed them on our show for the past several years, let's go on down the line. To, Tell you who you are, what you play, what your role in the band is. We're just going down the line to introduce everybody. My name is Colby. I play drums. My name is Elijah. I play bass. Kevin, and I play guitar. And I'm Scott, and I am the vocalist. Guys, it has been amazing once again here connecting up with you and just really uh, just being like family with you guys over this last couple of years and it's been awesome to see you guys continue to grow both personally and in your music and just really uh, get out there and really win hearts and souls for Jesus because that's what it's about and to see you guys do it in such a fun uh, interactive innovative way is uh, just amazing you guys' hearts are incredible and we thank you for taking some time and sharing that with our audience and just for doing what you do so keep it up guys yeah hey thank you Redeem the Exile with us here on Christian Music Spotlight. This isn't the last time you're going to see them. Trust me. They are regulars here. They are family here on this show. We got more from Enumclaw. Creation Northwest 2015. We're taping our entire season here. Follow us online, youtube.com slash Spotlight and on television. We'll be back with more right after this. Don't go away. Want to see more interviews with your favorite artists? Go to youtube.com slash Christ Music Spotlight for more stories and testimonies behind the songs of your favorite artists. The online video home for Christian Music Spotlight. Can you hear me now? Christian Music Spotlight. We are here at Creation Northwest 2015 here in Kennewick, and we have the privilege right now of interviewing the band who is out with Redeem the Exile right now and is out on tour with him in this Northwest run. Please welcome for the first time on our show, This Vast Ocean. Guys, how are we doing? Doing good. Thank you for having us. What's this whole tour experience been like, uh, touring with Redeem the Exile and getting to tour the Northwest, performing your music, and what's that all been like for you? 
Uh, it's been awesome. Like, uh, th we haven't actually been a band for too long, so to be able to do something like this is just, it's it's crazy. Like, uh, when I started playing music, I never thought I'd do anything like this. So, for me, it's been it's been amazing. And Redeem is they're they're so cool. Like hanging out with them, they're they're just awesome guys. And yeah, yeah. Now you guys are up towards the Seattle area, correct? Yeah, yeah. We live about 45 minutes north of Seattle. So. So how did you guys all get together, and how did this vast ocean become the band that we know it? And where did the name come from, too? It's a pretty cool name. Yeah. Um, so uh, me and Nathan, who's my brother, we've played in bands for uh, as long as I can remember. He's been in every band that we've ever ever had, and we've known Rachel forever. And um, uh, so uh, one, uh, it's like uh, we were all sitting around, and it was like, well, we're all too talented to to not play music, so it's like let let like God's gifted us with incredible talents, so it's like can't sit here and waste them. So uh, put a band together and just start playing music, and um, met Jaden through uh, through school and uh, uh, heard that he was a pretty good guitarist. So uh, uh, when the spot opened up in the band for a guitarist, we hit him up and turned out to be a really good decision so um yeah you mentioned he's guitar uh what positions do you guys all play in the band yeah uh so i i do the vocals and i play guitar also and i play bass <laughs> and i'm drums for those who are just finding you for the first time uh describe your musical stylings uh what your style is all about uh, we play melodic hardcore music, so uh, the music sounds really pretty, and uh, but it definitely has some uh, heavier, angrier sounding stuff in it. So throw in a few breakdowns every once in a while, but yeah. Love that description, melodic hardcore. I love yeah, that. Yeah. You guys are out on tour. Obviously, this whole past week you've toured all around the Northwest area. What does the upcoming immediate future hold for you, for you guys as a band? Uh, you know, uh, we, we've just released our first EP, so we're just kind of going along with that, like, uh, been able to promote it and stuff out on tour, so we're, we're pretty open to whatever the future holds. Uh, we're not quite sure what the next step is, but, uh, God will, God will take us wherever and we're willing to go wherever, so. We ask this question a lot of the bands that appear on the show, uh, beyond the music, what is a impactful message that you want your fans leaving at the end of the show with at the end of the night when they attend one of your guys' performances? Mm. Um, so we, we say this at, at all our shows, like uh, the only thing that we want people to walk away with from seeing us play is uh, that it doesn't matter like what's happened in their life, like where, where they are now, what's happened in the past or whatever's going to happen in the future. Uh, we just want them to know that they're loved by God and nothing can ever change that. So. This vast ocean joining us here on Christian Music Spotlight here on location from Creation. Time now for a little segment we like to call Fun Fast Facts, a chance we get to find out a little bit more about your favorite artists in Christian music. Some rapid fire questions. First of all, this vast ocean, if we were to peer into your iPod, CD player, however you listen to music, what might we find you all listening to at the moment on there? Oh, man. Um, I don't even know. I listen to so much music. Um, I've been really into a band called Worthwhile lately. Um, then I listen to a lot of Under Oath and stuff like that. But yeah, that's me. Um, I'm into classic rock, so Led Zeppelin, uh, ACDC, that kind of stuff. Surprisingly, being in a metal band, I'm not actually that into metal. Uh, right now, I've been really into 21 Pilots and sort of the more stuff like that. Classic rock and like Gideon Defeater. Right. Since you guys are from the Northwest, we of course air quite a lot in the Northwest on television. What would be your favorite Northwest hangout spot that you guys all like to hang out at up where you are? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, there's a place that uh, actually I got the inspiration for uh, the EP that we wrote. It's called Hurricane Ridge. It's out uh, by Port Angeles, and like that spot, um, 
I, I love being up there. It's so quiet and peaceful. So th I think, yeah, that, that one's mine. We're sort of from a little bit of a hick town, so there's not many places to go. A lot of the time just kind of aimlessly wandering around the city, trying to find if something fun to do. Now, you guys, uh, of course, from the Northwest, um, where would you... Where, uh, I had like a brain fart there for a moment there. Oh my goodness. Anyway, favorite place you guys have done touring so far? Is there a favorite either in this week or in your travels so far as a band? What has been some of your favorite touring spots you guys have had a chance to perform so far? Uh, we played in Everett and that show was... That show was nuts. Like uh, the place was packed from start to finish. All the bands and all the fans stayed for the whole time, and it was amazing. Like at the end of it, uh, when we were playing, we got everybody to raise their hands and just start worshiping. And I've never seen anything happen like that before. So it, it was it was nuts. But nice. yeah, that was my favorite spot. You end up stole my answer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard her going up. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Took the popular answer there. We are here with this vast ocean here on Christian Music Spotlight. That was our fun fast facts, saving a chance for you to find out a little bit more about your favorite artists here in Christian Music. And uh, so, what does the immediate future hold for you guys? You guys are out supporting this latest EP. Is there more touring in the future here in the fall and winter? What's upcoming next for you guys? Um, we don't have anything planned so far, but it, like uh, I think God has uh, pretty great plans for us. So, whatever He brings our way, we're open to it. So. Well, we enjoyed following you guys, and you guys have been a tremendous blessing to uh, redeem the exile. I heard some tremendous things about you guys, and so look forward to your growth in the future and progress as a band. For those who want to find out more about you guys and connect up with you and your music, where might uh, we do that? Uh, we have Facebook. We have Instagram. Uh, we have our music up on uh, Bandcamp right now um, and on Spotify, too. Um, yeah, and it'll be up on iTunes soon, so, uh, yeah, just, yeah, normal social media places, I guess, but. Well, guys, it's been a blessing getting a chance to talk with you guys. Uh, Northwest Band, it's been a pleasure meeting you guys, and again, you guys have been a tremendous blessing. Uh, I heard some tremendous things about you guys, so just look forward to seeing some big things from you guys here in the future, and much, much blessings to you guys as you continue to do your thing, and, uh, win hearts and souls for Christ and get your music out there to new and bigger avenues. So thank, thanks, you guys. Yeah, thank you for having us. This vast ocean here on Christian Music Spotlight. Go online, find out more about their music, hook up with them on social media. We've got more Christian Music Spotlight here the entire season from Creation Northwest in Kennewick. And just like that, we are out of time for another edition of our show. Special thanks to our guest, This Vast Ocean Awake with Sleeper and Redeem the Exile for joining us. We'll see you back here next time for more stories and testimonies behind the songs right here on Christian Music Spotlight. We're going to leave you now with Redeem the Exile, This Vast Ocean, playing together from the creation. We'll see you next time, everybody. <laughs> Yeah!